Dr. Catherine. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that's on everybody's minds at the moment and that is coronavirus, COVID-19. If you're a dog owner like me, you're probably pretty worried about whether your dog can also contract COVID-19. The short answer to that question is there's no clear answer, although current evidence suggests that dogs at least cannot pass the disease on to humans. That's a relief. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about all of the facts that we know to date and also how to interpret those facts. You may have heard recently about a dog in Hong Kong, a little old Pomeranian, who was shown to be infected with COVID-19. And you're probably wondering whether that means that dogs can get COVID-19. So let me talk a little bit more about that information because the media coverage hasn't always been that clear on it. This dog was tested and was shown to have a weak positive result to that test. They retest the dog two days later, so on February 28th, and then again on Fe sorry on March 2nd and 5th, so four tests. Um, and they repeated that at another laboratory as well because they really wanted to know what was going on with that dog. All of those tests were testing the RNA, so the genetic makeup of the virus, and they found that yes, that dog did have the virus presence in its body. That doesn't actually confirm that the dog had the COVID-19 disease itself. But experts tend to agree that it probably suggests that the dog did have the disease, was infected, although only very mildly. They generally agree that dogs are a pretty bad host for that virus, so that means that the virus doesn't really like a dog's body, it much prefers a human body to infect. So that's really great news. And experts also uh, are agreeing, at least on the current information, that dogs cannot pass the disease onto humans. So that little Pomeranian in Hong Kong likely got the disease from a human, and in fact, its owners were um, infected with the COVID-19 disease. More great news, there is a big laboratory in the US called IDEX, um, and that's been testing thousands of dog samples to see whether any other dogs um, in out there are infected with COVID-19 and so far I haven't shown any positive results. So, so far just that one dog that has shown to have a weak positive response to COVID-19. What does all this mean if you are a dog owner like me? If you have yourself been infected with COVID-19, wherever possible try and get somebody else to care for your dog. If that's not possible then do everything you can to not pass it to your dog because that is a possibility. So what I'm talking about is washing your hands all the time, washing disinfecting surfaces, being really careful when you're re um, sorry when you're refreshing their water and also when you're giving them their food to, to make sure that you're not passing any virus from your body into the um, food or the water bowl and you need to make sure that you're being careful for at least two weeks although evidence suggests that you might actually be shedding the virus for a good even four weeks. Um, so just a quick recap very unlikely that dogs can infect humans with COVID-19, that's great, but it is possible that humans could infect dogs with COVID-19, although so far out of the thousands of people that have been infected with this disease, only one dog has shown to have a very weak positive response. That dog itself was not sick with the disease, but it did have um, presence of the virus in its body. That's all we know to date. I hope that's provide a little bit more clarity for you at least. I'm going to be doing my best to provide as much uh, updated information as I can as it becomes available over the coming weeks and likely months. If you have any questions please pop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos on dog care every week. Thanks for watching and stay safe everyone.